Okay, so we're open for the floor. Rod Adams, the ever dependable <laughs> Rod Adams. You mentioned that we took our eye off the ball when we let the PTCs come in. I think that we also missed the boat in the Recovery Act when the production tax credit for everybody else was converted from a PTC to an ITC, which gives the renewable projects 30% as soon as they complete. And every time the PTC gets extended, in the fine print, the ITC for renewables, but not nuclear, has been extended as well. Please. I'll let you take that My question. Favorite I, don't, topic. I don't disagree. Okay. So this time, energy and natural resources, who is now, you know, we, they're one of the most educated groups of people on energy and financial tools on the planet. They're not going to make this mistake this time. Simple answer is two favorite credit, Sorry, depreciation is one form, bit, right? Please. But then you have investment tax credit and, and, and production tax credit. Production tax credit rewards you for nice. making Good stuff, shot. producing electrons. <laughs> investment tax credit is for making an investment. So if one starts in the front, the other no, one's no, for no. through time. There is no question a production tax credit is where you should lean because you're paying for product. The investment tax credit is a travesty because it rewards Wall Street because any of these new projects, they're not profitable in the beginning. They don't need tax shelter. They can't use it. So what you do is you take a 30% slug and then you arbitrage it through what's called tax equity in Wall Street and you lose 15% of that right away. So I am speak, my brethren will shoot me when I walk out the door, but an investment tax credit rewards Wall Street. There are certain circumstances you should use it, but what we really should rely on is production tax credit, and I think they will. 